Hey everybody, it's Diana Prince and this is Pin Up Talk with host Diana Prince. So I'm getting back into my makeup tutorials and as soon as I get enough energy and time to doll myself up and actually try them on my face on camera, I'm going to do many tutorials and I just actually wanted to show you three of the lipsticks that I got not too long ago. And I love them. Of course, I love all my lipsticks. Um, this is L'Oreal, and the color is Sunset Angora. I love the gold. Um, I noticed that with all my lipsticks, I'm really, really getting into the style of the actual tube. So it's really not necessarily about the color. The color is initially going to be first. It doesn't matter if they cost $2 or like one of my MAC ones, you know, if it's $15 or $20. Um, the color is always going to be first, but then at that point it's going to go on from color to the quality. And then I find one of the top things on my list is the look of the tube. So I really like this tube. I know my lighting is just not the best. I'm trying to figure it out, but I do this show at different times during the day and I also have like a makeup box here that's causing a shadow right here. So anyways, um, let's try and get this completely straight. Still not straight. So I like this. I like the fact that it's gold on the outside. I really am now starting to get into collecting things with different colors, um, different color tubes as you can see. Gold, silver, black, red, white. Um, so anyway, this is L'Oreal Paris and it is Sunset Angora. I really love it because what you see on the outside of the tube is the color that you're actually going to get. And you'll have to excuse my nails, even though they are slightly groomed, they are kind of damaged a little. I've, I've got typical housewife hands, if you ask me. I've got dishpan hands. So I just took off the polish from Viva. That's why I hate wearing polish um, at home. And so I've got a couple little nicks on me here and my nails just aren't ever perfect. But right for now they are groomed. And I can hear the garbage man out there now making his, doing his stuff, doing his daily work. So this is the color and it really is nice. Let me try and get my light over here because it's just so dark on one side of me. I'll just try to go this way. But um, anyway, I love the color, and um, it's like a, a pink peach, if you, if you ask me. It's definitely in the pink family. And I'm going to make more of an effort to get my lighting right. Every time I do something, I always gotta alter my lighting. If I'm using the natural light that I have over here, then I'm using my lighting that I have over here. I've just gotta get it always as perfect as I can. So it's a lot more than just jumping on camera. Um, and also every time I change my angle, then there you go. I gotta change my lighting and so on and so forth. So I'm just trying to get this to like go this way. Okay, I only have a certain amount of time I know to record this. So anyways, thank you for tuning in to all the people who've been tuning into my shows. I just love my cute little Burberry. Before I go on, if, if, this is not the cutest thing. And out of all of these, this was the most expensive and it's the travel size, but it's absolutely adorable. And I love this color, military red. It's very bright red, just like this Dolce, Dolce Cabana is, or Dolce Cabana. So um, the next one that I wanted to show was Revlon. I love Revlon. Of course, Revlon's been a favorite of mine since I was young and since I was a teenager. And it's obviously a well-known brand. You can pick it up in the stores. And it's fairly inexpensive. I've never seen an expensive uh, Revlon lipstick or what I would consider expensive. So I love the outside of it. A lot of these have had stickers on them. So of course, if I was gonna take beautiful pictures of them, I'd have to make sure that all this glue residue is, is gone but anyways I like the outside it's very cute like I said I'm really into the outside of um, lipsticks now I love the outside and it just kind of gives the distinctive look to the brand and I mean you know they're laying around you have them in your purse and girls like cute things what can I say in a nutshell so this is Revlon and the color is red velvet and I do love it it kind of has whoa the um the way that the, the Revlon was made, wherever I put that at now, it's kind of got the same kind of where you push it up 
and so I do like this it's very nice now um, one thing and it's definitely a red it's what I'd consider a, a kind of a, a, a wine red what I would consider wine red it's not deep red but it's definitely not a cranberry red um, like say the Stolce Cabana would be this is actually I don't even know the color Oh, classic fire so as you can see that's red that's like a bright but it's still not even that bright. So all these different color reds and that, I wasn't gonna show it, but that's my classic fire Dolce & Gabbana. I'm gonna do a whole um, makeup tutorial on how you can get um, the small sizes, the trial sizes like this, because if you're not gonna use it a lot or that company happens to sell that color and trial size, why not? And then there's display case items um, of all types and lipsticks being one where they were never used. They were made to be put on display to be used and they never made it out there to be used or they never got used. So people sell them and they sell them and they're brand new. The only thing, I've already used this one, but the only thing that's the difference is the top. So again, if you want like to have a certain look to your um, lipstick or if you just want that color and you don't mind having a different top, you can also buy them very inexpensive. So this one I thought was interesting. This is Mary Kay and it's called Fire Firecracker. Um, my idea of Firecracker would be more of a brighter red like this Dolce Gabbana was. But um, I love the way this is. You have to push it in and pull it through. It's got a little resistance there. And But yes, this is, I guess, it is a true red. This is what, if I had to consider any red a true red, this would... This would be my idea of a true red. As you can see, this has, or maybe you can see, this has more orange in it, and this has more of a, a pink and a, um, a purplish look. And no, I did not just mess up my stuff, not paying attention. Nice, you guys, I messed up my cap. No, no, I messed up the top of this. My lipstick, okay. So anyways, I just thought that that was cool. Now I have lipstick on my fingers um, because you have to push it in and lock it and then you have to pop it out to use it and it shows you the color right there on top and it shows you that I messed it up just now <laughs> not looking so anyways I just wanted to go over a couple I've got several more obviously I um I love my fashion fair I'm looking at the names of these I love my Mary Kay I love my um I love my Mac. You know, honestly, there are lipsticks that I I know are fake and it's because I've already ordered from that seller or I could tell by the price or something that I knew it was going to be fake. But I wanted to try it and I like the color and I like the outside of it. So it was worth it to be inexpensive. I refuse to buy expensive things that are knockoffs. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, I might as well be buying the actual thing. Um, that's just how I look at it and there's so much more that you get when you pay more so I'm really not into buying knockoffs I'm just saying I have and I will again because I like the color but um, otherwise no I'm um, you know you, the quality is what you see the difference in and this is another tester and I will go again into detail with this while I'm actually uh, all dolled up pathway I don't know how much of this you can see but this is Dior Attic so this is Christian Dior and it is a, it says Dior Attic Basic, and it's 253, number 253. So again, this is a tester from inside the store that never got used. Believe me, I shop on eBay. If anybody sells anything that's used, they have to state it, or they will have to refund your money. So all you gotta do is take a picture of it and report it, and they'll also have many problems after that as well. So anyways, um. Gosh, how did I get to nine minutes? It doesn't even feel like that long. That is absolutely amazing. I love talking about lipstick, you guys. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so my last one, Christian Dior. And it says basic, and it looks like it's a pinkish, and that's what I like. It's also a color here that's the color there. So you can see what you're getting, and it's very light. So if this is nude, I would say it's a nude pink. It's kind of a glossy pink you can barely see it on me so this would be good for me just to wear for like an everyday shade and color but again it's got the same kind of tubing as the other ones and the top is going to be different than the actual one say the, the the original Christian Dior of this color would be $21 
Well, you can probably get the floor model or the tester that has never been used um, and just doesn't have the same top as the original for, say, seven or eight dollars. So virtually half or even more than half of the cost and you're getting the same exact everything and um, it's usually the same exact size within it and they make so many testers and then they just end up not being used. And so somebody works there, they get them at a discount or the company sells them in bulk and then there you go, they're done. So thank you for tuning in. I can't believe I'm over 10 minutes. Somehow I think this is like going really, really fast, like more faster than it should. But anyways, thanks for tuning in to my show and I shall see you all next time.